PSP, or Progressive Supranuclear Palsy, affects around 4,000 people here in the UK, and that's just the ones that we know about. Many sufferers are misdiagnosed, and when it is identified, the prognosis isn't good. There's no cure, and there's no treatment. Unfortunately, I've got personal experience of someone living with PSP. My uncle Ian was diagnosed back in 2010 and I've seen firsthand how he and the family cope with his illness, which is caused by the progressive death of nerve cells in the brain. Keith Swanke is also living with PSP and he wanted to speak out to raise awareness, but also to raise funds for very much needed research. This is his story. A few years ago he fell and he sort of went into like a jerking fit. His body would start having spasms. That's when things started to like change. Stiffness and rigidness. If he was holding things he'd drop them. Choking. When he's struggling to breathe that is really scary. Urinary incontinence. The left eye was and the right eye was clamping shut. Difficulty like with like movement. Changes in personality. His hands would just do what they wanted. Sometimes his speech can go. It was pretty scary when you first saw it. You certainly don't expect to be like this when you're in your forties. I'm Keith's wife, Sheila. Um, we've known that Keith's had PSP for uh, just over a year now. It was quite a shock getting the news. When Sheila came home from work, I had to tell her. It's just such a horrible thing to have to do, to tell someone that you love that you're not going to be here. It was absolutely horrendous. We decided we had to tell the kids. It just was hellish. Just heartbreaking seeing them, you know, realising that Dad wasn't going to get better, Dad was going to get worse. And that was a very big shock to realise that I might not have them as long. You just can't do anything about it. You've got to sit back and watch and let it happen, and and that's that's horrible. It is a, a very, very rare illness that people are not aware of. A lot of the medical profession struggle when you say, I suffer from PSP. Even ambulance crews and that are like, what do we do? You know, I mean, in the last three months there's been a huge deterioration, a lot more staggering. The neck muscles can start to just work on their own. It's almost like being choked from inside, which is very scary. And can also make it very difficult for him to breathe. But it's now at the point he's getting scared to eat and drink. It is quite frightening because like, there's nothing you can do to help him. The eyesight has gotten worse. His eyes are closed, maybe his face will pull. You really don't know what the next day is going to bring. You just, you have to crack on or the world will crumble round about you. She's been there helping me. Been married 21 years. Hey, in sickness and in health, to say. <laughs> She's just been a star, an absolute star. Two teenage daughters, you want to protect them, but there you now look after me and protect me. He's having a low day. That really gets him like his girls, his daughters are having to help him. If he needs anything, I just go help him. Make him juice, bunch, the simple things like grab the remote or get him a blanket or something, to things like if he's on the floor, you've got to call community alarm out and stuff like that. Nikki surprised us this year. I did a parachute jump to raise money for PSP. That was, it was amazing. <laughs> So glad it was one of my better days. We were able to go along and see her face when she landed. <laughs> see her face before she took off as well. Uh, well. It was good being able to do something for PSP and just like raise awareness for it as well. I'm so proud of her for, for doing that. Jordan is very good at looking after me. Like on a good day, we'll go out with the dogs, guide him if his eyes are shut, like he's got a great sense of humour as well, which sort of helps it. We just try to laugh as much as we can. 
when he's like having his good days and that, he really doesn't let it bring him down. He just tries to do as much as he can. I think it's amazing how he deals with it because I certainly wouldn't be like that. Although he's deteriorated greatly, he's still there's still very much a lot of Keith there. He won't give in to it. He was determined to do some bit of DIY. And so crutch in one hand, grinder in the other. I was like, oh my God, what if he falls? I thought, right, okay, he's wanting to do this. Somebody later said, I hope you had safety specs on. He says, what was the point? My eyes were shut. But you know what he didn't do? <laughs> he just won't give in. I try not to think about like what could happen. Just be thankful it's not happened yet. I think it's starting to hit now that he is getting worse. They know that I will penultimately die shortly. You possibly won't become a granddad. Or you might not be able to walk your daughter down the aisle. So I think it's important to be there for them just now. Seven years tops, and that's horrible, knowing that your dad's probably not going to make it to 50. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> don't know how long he has had PSP, so we don't know how long we've got with him. <sighs> don't think about it, just take each day as it comes and we do what we can. I suppose in the latter stages, we won't really know what's going on. I'll just be existing. I can't even... Imagine how that will feel for them. I know what's ahead of me. I know it will become tough. It's been difficult for my mum. I think she tries to just get on with it, but you can see it on her face sometimes when he's having a bad day. She's watching her husband deteriorate and there's nothing she can do about it. Yeah, it's really important to get his wishes and things in place before he can't talk for himself. He's told me what songs he wants at his funeral and I mean, we'll have a laugh and joke about it because um, it's quite terrible songs he's picked. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better wife or better children or a better family. I don't know how I can repay them or thank them for what they've had to go through, what they will have to go through. And I love them since so, so much and we'll miss them so much. I just hope that by doing this, it raises awareness of the illness. If anyone's watching this that wants to donate funds to the PSP Association to hopefully one day maybe find a cure or something that will reduce its aggressiveness of of attack on people.